Uh, he just waves his hand a little bit. I think Waka needs to do a little more praying. Oh, he's praying, all right. Please, let Waka's prayers be heard. <laughs> Lord O'Holland, guide our feet. All right, let's pray. Where are your what pants? Summoner, are you? Where are your pants? <laughs> Why do you My look like a bondage? My name is Yuna. Bondage. From the Isle of Besaid. Donna. So you're High Summoner Braska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. Why? Who dresses my, like that? My, my, my! And all these people are your guardians. <laughs> my, what a rabble! As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? Whatever you I wearing? I have of only one guardian, right, Bartello? Oh, yet yeah, no, that's... I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor. Even more so than being my father's daughter. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you... Please leave us in peace. You know, I you think... You do what you want, Bartello, we're leaving. I think Bartello gives her a lot of joy, you know what I mean? <laughs> <sighs> I think Bartello gives her a all the joy she someone needs. someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered, did Yuna feel that way about me? What's she smiling about? There's, there's a plot to us later on, I'm pretty sure. Hey, are we done? Lord O'Holland. Sit there, you've prayed that way already, alright, let's go. The faith is below. Let's do it! Wait, if there was a summoner the here, faith? why didn't she do the but first, the cloister of trials. Kamari, Waka? Ready? Why did she do the same thing? Strength, everyone. No! Nah! Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Um, we'll be back as soon as we can, okay? <laughs> oh, sure. Soon. Like, tomorrow soon, I bet. Let's go down. No? Or let's not go down. We're gonna go in anyway, right? Yeah, whatever. Where's Yuna? Then why are you here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm, not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! <laughs> ah, let me go! Go! Hey, what's a big idea? Just a little game. Huh? Where are your pants? Jesus. This is bad. Really bad. I don't know if I can finish this game. <laughs> Jesus. It's like it's designed by 13 year old boys, this game. Fucking. Alright, let's go. Only guardians allowed. And I'm sure no guardian. You decide what well, you are. I guess it's too late now. If 
you decide you're a guardian, you're a guardian. See what happens. A glyph appears. A glyph appears. I suppose that's meant to be the door. Wait, the glyph is still there. Let me stick that there. Oh wait, there's a what? There's a sphere in here? Glyph sphere, take sphere Put the glyph sphere where the glyph is The glyph repels you, right So the glyph sphere. I can move this. But why? Why does that help? How does that help? <laughs> Are those like places on the ground? Can I pull it? I can't pull it anymore. <laughs> I may have messed up. So if I put that... in there... that catches fire. But I just shoved it in the corner and I can't pull it back out again. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, there's a thing here. <laughs> a sphere shaped recess. Let me, like. No, don't, don't go that way. Let me put that there. The glyph repels you. I can no longer put the glyph. in the uh, can I just touch the glyph touch glyph okay <laughs> you just touch it you put down the balls and you touch the wall remove glyph sphere Ah, 
How does that help? It doesn't help. Alright, let me just pick up a ball. And then move forward. There's a lot of fire there. That's probably bad. Oh, I have to move the... A Kyoka Sphere only hold one sphere at a time. Oh, wait a minute. There's this... Oh. Hold on, let me put this down. <laughs> Because there's a pedestal there. Take this sphere. But there's still a thing above it. I'm guessing I want to like... So I want to put out the fires, right? Let me like, just take this. <laughs> take this and put this... Does this work? No. Oh, wait. That opens a door. Oh, it also breaks that. Oh, that's handy. What's this? Destruction sphere. You know what? I'm gonna take this. Remove destruction sphere. Can I like stick it here? No, that's not right. How do I remove you know what? Let me uh Maybe I put the destruction sphere on the pedestal. I need to move the pedestal there, right? Anyway, let me just move the pedestal first. Oh, come on, dude. Give me a push. So if I stick this here... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what is that? I take that ball? And then I put the destruction sphere in there, is that right? <laughs> Let me put this down somewhere. Who even knows what's going on? go down here? No. So if I stick a destruction sphere in here... Sweet. Oh yeah, red armlet. So now what? Now... Ah, sphere shape recess. Okay, let me go get my fireball again. <laughs> this puzzle is actually pretty annoying. Alright, let me come back in here. Stick the ball in here. Is this gonna get more and more complicated later on? It is, isn't it? Hey guys. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> it was Donna and that big muscle head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? 
She could be excommunicated. <laughs> hey guys, hey Lulu. How am I doing? The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. Wow. You know what I think about taboos? Rules are meant to be broken is what I think. Just wait. So what's in there anyway? The faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. The faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now, they live forever trapped in statues but when a summoner beckons the souls of the faith emerge once again that's what we call an aeon all that in this room <laughs> so, so what's yuna doing in there she prays with all her heart for a way to defeat sin It, it sounds kind of cultish, right? You take... You take the souls from their living bodies, they turn into monsters that fight for you if you're a summoner, and you put the soul back and they fight for you, and that's a faith. <laughs> I, there's, there has to be a plot twist in here somewhere. This seems evil. Hey, Kamari. <gasps> oh, dude, come on, say, say hi! Toxic. You you are toxic. Just wait. <laughs> I also feel that way. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there. In the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly, I felt like I just wanted to go home. You I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. We got a fruit. Nice. I like how you can name the faith. You can name Tid as you name the faith, but you don't name anyone else, right? I'm just gonna save again. Compulsive saver. You're gonna show off your fruit now? Oh, it's not about you, I Tidus. thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. Are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> That's not how you're supposed to handle your emotions. You're supposed to talk about it with your friends. Just tell them. You're homesick. It's not that complicated. <laughs> 